podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. And when you think about healthy eating, you might not think about school lunches. But as school systems initiate health and wellness programs in an attempt to combat childhood obesity, they're looking at ways to revise their meals. We recently visited Margaret B. Pollard Middle School in Chatham County to see how they're finding a way to better health and nutrition in their student lunches. Trying to get our children to eat healthier, not just to eat healthier, but to understand the benefits of proper food and nutrition and to make it a life-changing practice. Uh, and you do those types of things through education. And I uh, said so a great way possibly for the, us to introduce this would be through a, a chef's challenge. Well, the idea actually came from looking at what was available. Um, in our program, we do a lot of local and sustainable uh, food. So it always starts with what is available. And that's exactly what I did here. I looked through their list of what was available fresh and then dry and went from there, really. And then I have small kids, so I picked things that I thought my kids would like to eat. And I know the things that they have not liked to eat, so I ruled those out. And I came up with the three cheese pasta. Well, chefs, this, they're professionals. This is food preparation is what they're all about. What a great idea to bring some of their ideas and thoughts and creativity to the process of trying to improve the, the flavor of the school lunch. Today we did the uh, chef challenge and we did a three cheese pasta that went against um, chicken nuggets which is one of the school's favorite kids favorites. We um, probably did uh, pasta three to one over chicken nuggets today. Um, which was a surprise to me because kids love chicken nuggets. The children are given a feedback form or a, an evaluation form. It's very brief. It only has four questions on it, and they're asked to fill it out, and we will tally it and take a look at it and get feedback from the students of what they think about the meal or the entree that was served to them. It's, it's really good. It's better than what they serve here. It's better than chicken nuggets because it's, it's like better. <laughs> Margaret B. Pollard and other Chatham County schools are hoping that the Chef's Challenge will lead to school lunches that are more nutritious and exciting for the students. To learn more about the Chef's Challenge, visit our website, unctv.org slash ncnow. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.